Hello dear uh, students, PrEP 2. Uh, today I'm going to uh, read the first phase in Jane Eyre's story in her life. Jane's life is divided into different phases, okay, in different places. The first phase in her life is with her aunt, Mrs. Reed. Jane Eyre. My name is Jane Eyre, and my story begins when I was 10. I was living with my, with my aunt, Mrs. Reed, because my mother and father were both dead. Mrs. Reed was rich. Her house was large and beautiful, but I was not happy there. We are going to see why wasn't Jane happy with her aunt. Her house was large and beautiful, but I was not happy there. Mrs. Reed had three children, Eliza, John, and Georgiana. My cousins were older than I. They never wanted to play with me, and they were often unkind. I was afraid of them. Who is telling us the story? Jane Eyre herself is telling us readers the story. It's a story about her life. It begins when she was 10 years old. Why did she live with her aunt? Where are her parents? Her parents died. That's why she was living with her aunt, Mrs. Reed, and her three cousins. This means that she was an orphan. Orphan means her parents died. How did her cousins treat her? Were they kind? No, they were unkind. They didn't like her. They treated her badly. The second paragraph. I was most afraid of my cousin John. He enjoyed frightening me and making me feel unhappy. One afternoon, I hid from him in a small room. I had a book with a lot of pictures in it. I felt quite happy. John and his sisters were with their mother. But then John decided to look for me. Where's Jane here? He shouted. Jane! Jane! Come out! He could not find me at first. He was not quick or clever. But then, Eliza, who was clever, found my hiding place. Here she is, she shouted. I had to come out, and John was waiting for me. What do you want? I asked him. I want you to come here, John said. I went and stood in front of him. He looked at me for a long time. And then, suddenly, he hit me. Now, go and stand near the door, he said. I was very frightened. I knew that John picked, I knew that John wanted to hurt me. I went and stood near the door. Then John picked up a large, heavy book and threw it straight at me. The book hit me on the head and I fell. You cruel boy, I shouted. You always want to hurt me. Look, I touched my head. There was blood on it. John came angrier. He ran across the room and started to hit me again and again. I was hurt and afraid, so I hit him back. 